Well, I think, well, I guess, first of all, the overarching response that I have to this question is... Uh, AI uh, therapists providing individual family group counseling to clients. It, well, number one, it, is, as far as you know, uh, technology exists for that, or can you see that happening? Well, I think, well, I guess, first of all, the overarching response that I have to this question is is kind of how are you using AI? If you're a social worker who sees AI as like the answer to all your prayers and you're just gonna, you know, type in the the question or the problem or the issue that you have and it's gonna spit something out and then you're just gonna copy and paste that and put it in a report, give it to your boss or with no work basically, then you there will be problems with that, whether it's a chat bot providing therapeutic services or whatever it may be. But I think that what at least at this time, again. The technology is moving so fast. I can't know. I can't tell you where it's going to be in three years, five years. But right now, I think it's imperative that we see AI as a tool, like any other tool that we have in our toolbox that we can use, we can leverage, we can kind of adapt it to our situations. But we, it's not the answer to everything. So it's still that being said, when we use whether if it's we're using you know Facebook and Instagram maybe to communicate with some families or clients that we can't get a hold of any other way, or if we're using um, Google Maps with someone's address to go do a home visit or something, whatever it is, we as social workers carry that obligation of informed consent, confidentiality, like all these ethical considerations that we have. And then when we understand that that at the end of the day is our obligation as social workers, then we can use these tools. Or, you know, people have used text messages or Facebook messages or whatever tools they use, electronic or otherwise, um, to do the work of social work. But and even email, we keep bringing up the theme of email, like right. email can be very dangerous if we put, if we're not responsible with the work that we do to use that tool. Mm -hmm. So, so the big overarching thing is that understanding that AI at this point is a tool that you use, but it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't take away your obligations as a social worker, your ethical, uh, professional obligations to do good work. So that being said, I think that there are opportunities if if we have that base understanding to utilize the technologies in ways that support or our tools in certain areas, um, such as in therapy, that, that can be helpful, but they're not the answer. So one of the examples that I've seen, read, and also kind of heard of and, and just thought through is, you know, if we're working with an individual who may have whatever mental health um, situation that they're going through, and then it's two in the morning or something like that, and, you know, their social worker, their therapist, whoever it is, they're not on the clock, they don't have access to anyone, and they're sitting there with whatever they're going through. A properly developed, a properly um, designed AI tool and or process could be helpful in those situations where an individual could get some level of support, some level of, of um, you know, addressing that in the moment issue. And AI has shown to be very, very accurate in a lot of situations. Like any other technology, there are, there are glitches and that's something that, you know, we need to continue to work on. But the overall, overwhelming responses that I've experienced and I think people have started to talk about is that it's pretty decent at, at worst it's decent in its ability to do things that we wouldn't have thought six months ago that a you know a technology could do just in terms of demonstrating empathy and um, providing appropriate information but like I said that needs to be within a system or a protocol that the individual the therapist whoever understands that here's a tool for you if you need it but the real work will be done traditionally as we do individually one-on-one -on -one, um where we can then dig deeper and as humans we can process through whatever's going on so that's a long-winded answer but it's basically saying that ai can be a tool that can supplement the work but we need to structure it and design it in such a way that it is that it's a tool it can be helpful and beneficial but it doesn't replace the human-centric approach that we need to have as therapists counselors social workers whatever the case may be